Hey everyone, welcome back to D Ray's Garage. Uh, you're joining me today, hopefully, because you clicked the right link to check out this guy, the BMW i3, getting its first oil change. Right, an electric vehicle getting an oil change. But this one is the Rex model, or fondly known as Rex, range extender, probably the technical term. So let me walk you through all the stuff you're gonna need, and let's bang this out. It should be quick and dirty probably more dirty. So here's the creeper. Here's the goodies we're gonna need. I'll walk you through those. And uh, on this side, we've got the oil pan. Should be about 2.6 liters, allegedly, sitting in this little generator engine. Underneath there is a moving mat, moving blanket, that I like to use to set under for the variable spills I incur during these projects. You should jack your car by your method of choosing. In my case, it's the quick jack. Almost looks like we, uh, we've got this thing levitating pretty high, but that should make the job pretty easy and more so, more importantly, easy for me to show you what's going on with, get some good light under there. What I think we need, I'm always wrong on a couple of points, or at least I forget something. Eight mil hex to get off the drain plug. Not sure exactly what size the new crush washer will need to be, but you'll need a new one of those. This is the OC306 oil filter. I do not have a filter socket that fits this. It's about 77, 78 mils, and my one I use on the Porsche is 76 or 74. So anyway, what I'm gonna use instead is this uh, channel locks, which not ideal, but it'll work. We need a very fine pointed funnel because uh, of a, such a small entry point to load, reload the motor oil. You can never have enough of this when you're doing these projects. And I am putting in the 0W30. I have plenty of 0W40 that I'm sure I could use, but it's my first pass. I'm not sure what's gone in this engine at 17,000 miles. I'm not sure how many of those miles have been conducted using the Rex, but I'm just gonna do it right for once. So 0W30 on the Castrol Edge, which is a synthetic oil, European formula, full synthetic. All right, so we're all set up in here. I've got the drain pan, I've got my little catch mat. Um, underneath where we are, just for, uh, so you can see it is, I'm right here. This is the back of the vehicle. We're about, we're basically in between the rear wheels, uh, almost at the center point here, yeah. Pretty much under the rear axle completely is where you're gonna find your drain filler, sorry, not drain filler, drain plug, and that's the reservoir, and then this is the, uh, the filter area. All right, so back with a man-sized ratchet, and uh, just got the eight mil right here. So let's uh, see if we can get this loosened up. There we go. So I, I do have the filler cap up top still in, so it shouldn't gush too bad. Uh, so let's get this off. See, uh, see how bad the splash goes. Wow, the oil looks really clean. Super clean. I don't think this uh, Rex got a ton of use, which is fine. But now we know. All right, so I did not get the Rex activated to warm up the oil, so it'll probably take a little bit longer to flow out here, but no big deal. So now I'm gonna grab the channel locks I'm gonna try and get this filter loosened up while we're doing that too. Work today. How will we?
Yeah, so like I said, very clean oil. Everything in here looks pristine. So we'll uh, give that a few minutes to fully evacuate and we'll go uh, take apart the pieces up top. All right, so to remove the trunk here, oh, the, the trunk, the access panels, this pulls up and then slides out. You can see at the back here, these two clips that sit into those holes there. Then we have a series of T20. Make sure they're 20s. Yeah, you know, they might be 25s, but they're coming out with a 20. All right, what's that? Four, eight, eight of these guys. Not freeze that up. If you were just looking to find the dipstick and you don't want to take that out, access port right here. Here's your dipstick, which we will be playing with later on. But we're going a little deeper today. You can hopefully see, maybe not, I'm not sure how it'll come up, but here is the, if you forget the oil, wasn't actually listed in the book and I'm suspecting BMW wants uh, to service these, but 0W30. It's like a gorilla was working on this car. And there's your little filler spot. Right in there, very small compared to uh, standard ice car. All right, so it's largely evacuated under here. So we're gonna clean uh, these surfaces before we get, reattach the drain plug. I generally prefer to uh, thread these by hand because uh, oftentimes, I'm not sure about this, but I'm guessing it's aluminum for weight savings. And uh, yeah, it's, gen it's a soft metal, so not something you want to trifle with. Um, if this is where you can, if you want, I, I, like, I have this little device here that I use for uh, getting my foot pounds and torque correct. This is 18 foot, this is set to 18 foot pounds. So what's gonna happen is uh, it's gonna chime at me when it hits that number. Um, otherwise, you know, you don't want to be uh, gorilla tight with any of this. See, that was didn't take much at all, just to kind of flush and then maybe a quarter turn or slightly less. Just going to lubricate the seal here, that'll help, uh, you know, just connect and seal up and join up nicely up there. So that's, let's see. So you can see it's spinning on there pretty nicely. There are some pretty handy instructions on here. I'm not sure what they all mean. I think it says uh, spin it at least three times, or I don't know, whatever it is. It's, uh, we're gonna go as tight as I can by hand because uh, I don't wanna re-experience the channel lock uh, fiasco. So I'm sure there's a, a spec for this. I don't have it and I think as long as you get it nice and snug you can do it via hand if you disagree with that you should definitely uh, take it to a dealer and or use your own judgment all right that's good let's dry that up as best we can and for the underside the job's a good one right granddad i'm gonna pour two uh two full ones of these in pretty haphazardly then I'm going to be a little bit more careful and start using the dipstick to make sure we're full. 2.6 liters is the uh, technical spec on this and I'll convert it for you on the screen here for US measurements, but uh, 946 mils is just shy of a liter. So we're almost equivalent. So it's gonna be two and a half of these. Got the measurements on the side. So probably we'll do two full and one half and we're gonna be pretty close. We'll be dialing it in from there. Always worth checking the, there is a rubber seal on here. Just make sure that's in good shape. This one is.
definitely getting oil up through the hole, up to that line. I think, because it's there, looks like it's just below this little, I know it's dripping, but just below there, so I'm gonna put a little bit more in. So, I think we're just about 100 mils. Yeah, that's pretty much 2.6 liters. And that's uh, somewhere between 250 and 500 on this side and a quarter and a half a quart on the right side on this third bottle. Give it another check. Yep, I think we're in a good spot here, right in the middle. So, only thing left to do now, go reset the service light. All right, so now we're going to reset the service light in here. Let the car uh, cycle out of the accessories mode here. Or to those Warnings have gone. Hold this button down for about 10 seconds. The menu will appear. Okay, reset possible. Reset. Boom. Well, besides the little fiasco with the channel locks and the filter, I think that was a pretty easy job to get done. So that completes this task. Hopefully that uh, helps you out. I know I'm a visual person, so uh, may help some of you out there. I know there are instructions generally out there, but I've yet to be able to find a video on this subject. So hopefully that helped you out if that's what you were looking for. Look out for uh, videos coming out pretty soon. We have a Chrome delete on a Tesla Model X, which We'll cover it in two parts. One is just generally how to Chrome delete using vinyl, and the other side of that will be some of the more idiosyncratic, very specific elements of the Tesla X, which were particularly fun. So I'll throw up a couple pictures here of uh, that to tease it out, and you'll be seeing that posted soon. Thanks for checking in, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye now. Mm -hmm.